Bobo C. Tiberius here, wrapping up a 6-3 finish in the in, in the Memorial Day MCQ for Barcelona, likely out of any prizing. Um, I was just looking at the list, and we're somewhere in like 50th place. Uh, so even even with all the people that will lose and that will jump, no, not really a chance to get into 32nd. Um, and that's a bummer because the deck performed really admirably. In most cases, the difference between winning and losing was the Wrath. So in all three of the matchups, that was the difference between winning and losing was having a Wrath I can draw. I think what we do here, the Elspeth and the Sun Titan came in and I didn't enjoy them at all. So I think what we do there is we go down... Um, we cut the Sun Titan, and we get a, another Wrath back in there and put Avacyn in the sideboard, which is what most people do. They do a one and one split of the Avacyn. When Avacyn's good, she's great. When she's not, she's just okay. I think there is an argument to cut her entirely and run a third Rune Halo. I've liked the two Rune Halo. We saw today how they're just... In some matchups, they're just kind of a removal spell. Um, so there is that. There is that. I Other stuff in the sideboard, fine with the Purge, fine with the Disenchants. We didn't see Aven Mind Sensors' best matchups, unfortunately. So we didn't get a good read on how well it would do. Um, other so I don't really like that, but I think what we will do here... The next time we play this at a major thing is to so like we could also put the Gideons there and then get a ruined halo get the wrath and go that route I do like the way the Gideons can perform I like the way they are a lightning rod for removal I like sticking them against BGX decks, which are so common right now, but I I also like Avacyn against Phoenix, so it's really 50-50. I would love, 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 love to hear from folks in the comments to say what, you, what your list is looking like, or looking at my list, what you would cut, where you would move. I definitely think getting another Wrath in there is very critical, very pivotal. The other new card we were looking at today was Blast Zone, and we saw it a lot, and I like it. I, I'm going to say I like it. it. It's expensive, is my biggest complaint with it. Three mana to activate it is a bummer. It comes down, and it can't start putting counters on itself until turn three, which is a bummer. Um, but that is okay. That is okay in a lot of the times. We are casting stuff in all of our first four turns and I think that's where it gets better is when is decks where you're casting it and you're playing it I mean and then you're not doing anything on turn three turn four turn five I just don't know what modern decks are doing that we saw it played against us to some effect we saw it played for us to some effect I do think it's worth keeping in the deck that pretty much wraps it up though we went 6-3, very, very satisfied with the performance. Would have loved to run something, run just a little bit hotter to make it worth the time spent. 6-3 is a lot of a lot of good stuff, but we would much rather finish 7-2 or even 8-1, and we were very close to doing that in a lot of the matchups. Had if we so like we'll get into the what if game. I guess here, if but when we get into that what if game, we have to be cognizant of the notion that in that last humans matchup, we top decked like a boss. We just luck drew into a cleansing Nova when they had spent their hand. So it's six and one half dozen in the other kind of thing. So you can't get too bogged down on it. My biggest complaints here, I was, I thought I was going to complain more about Damping Sphere, but it seemed to, pardon me, it seems to have won us the Ad Nauseam matchup, while also 
still giving us game against Eldrazi Tron and other Tron decks. Yeah, I think the final look at this list is going to be this really quick swap of Wrath of God, uh, another Wrath of God coming in, or even a um, Settle the Wreckage would be fine. So the wreckage is a blowout against the decks where we would have needed, like in that situation with humans where we were knocking them off the mana, we just blow them out. Um, I do like Hollow Burial and I do like Cleansing Nova, though. I do like those being my utility wrath. So we will see. I think Wrath of God is more consistent and a wrath is always going to be a blowout is kind of the thing there. So we will see. I will see you in the next one. I think we're going to do uh, wrap up today with one more league on Soul Scissors. We might just watch a movie as well. We've played a lot of magic today, and normally your value gets down the more magic you play. So um, thank you guys so, 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 so much for watching. This was a lot of fun, and I'm hoping to hear more from you guys about what you think you would do with the deck. See you soon.